Hi, this is Pooja Samir Bhunve as an assistant professor of an artificial intelligence and data science department from AISSMS IOIT. Uh, today we will discuss the management information system and in that the sub point or the most important point in the collab uh, that is collaboration. This collaboration point belongs to the management information system in the second unit that is organization management and the network enterprises. See, Collaboration means, uh, we will see firstly how, what is mean by collaboration. So collaboration is nothing but working with others to achieve the share and explicit the goals. So here, collaborative technology refers to dedicated tools and system designed to facilitate the group work both in office and the remote also. So in the collaboration, we will focus on the task or the mission, uh, compli uh, compliance and usually takes place in a business. Uh, or in other organization and in between the business also. So collaboration means what the two company or the two um, uh, enterprises are uh, coming to uh, collaborate with each other are organized in the same way and uh, form another organization that is nothing but the collaboration. So you uh, here we will take the example you collaborate with the colleges in Tokyo having the expertise on a topic about which you know uh, you know nothing so you collaborate with the many colleges in publishing the company blog and etc so collaboration can be a short life uh, so uh, so the collaboration will be uh, having a long term also it can it comes under the uh, short live also so lasting few minutes uh, it also going on the long term process uh, so depending on the nature of the task or the relationship between the participant over both the participant uh, depend on that uh, how the they are long in the collaboration that is uh, we can say it will be a short live or it can be a um, long term also because it is totally depend on the how the uh, they will achieve the goal how they success in the career so that's why uh, it is depend on the achieving the goals so that is the collaboration so collaboration can be a one to one or we can say collaboration can be a many to many so here collaboration is a strategy that can be um, used in any type of workplace including the non-profits corporation government agencies service providers and the uh, educational institutions also so these are the examples of a collaboration strategy so here we will take another example that is employees may have collaborated in a formal groups that are not in a formal part of the business frames so here organizational structure or they may be have organized into a formal uh, formal teams so the teams are the part of the organization business structure for getting things done so here Teams, uh, now we will come to the point that is teams. So what will the role of the teams? So team have a specific mission that someone in the business assigned to them and they have a job to complete that within a time. So that is the role of teams. So the members of this team is need to be a collaborate on the uh, accomplishment of a specific task and collectively achieve that team and mission. So this is an example of a collaboration. Now, what are the reasons will be required for the collaboration and teamwork? So here, teamwork and the collaboration from the fundamental of any uh, successful business, when employees um, when employees share the um, their common goal, combine their strength and help each other to out when they are needed. So an organization an organization is a bound in style. So. The collaboration technique is used to today function by providing a space and resources to help improve the team productivity. So again, the if all the employees and the employees in the organization can benefit from learning about the different types of collaboration, so that will be depend. So in a collaboration and the teamwork are more important today in ever a variety of the reason because uh, there is a change uh, nature of the work then growth of professional work so that is the reason uh, they have uh, the collaboration will be required or we can say the teamwork will be required so uh, these are the different reasons they we have listed that is changing the nature of work growth of professional work changing the organization of the frame changing the scope of the frame 
and emphasizing on innovation emphasizing on innovation means when you, the two peoples are come together or the two teams are come together to form a one in, a new innovation and uh, that is emphasizing the on innovation that is new things will be created for the uh, sharing the data so that is we can say the emphasizing on innovation next one is changing the culture of work and the business obviously uh, in uh, to day to day life there is a change of different things uh, the changes will be happens in work and the business as well as so whatever the change will be affect whatever the work has done it will be totally ap uh, affected on your business so that is the changing culture of the work business so collaboration in the workplace occur when the people works together to achieve the goal it is another way of looking at the teamwork so that's why it is the, uh, these are the reasons they have okay so what are the different benefits of an collaboration technique so there is a uh, we have listed out the different benefits regarding to the uh, business uh, by using the collaboration when you use the collaboration so that are the first one is productivity so first benefit will be the productivity after that uh, quality innovation customer services financial uh, performance so in the productivity obviously people working together can complete uh, the complete task faster than the some number of people working in isolation from one to another there will be a fewer errors so that will be the product will be a quali quality will be increases so next one is a quality so here people working collaboratively can communicate the errors and then correct that error as compared to the fast as when you collaborated when they are work together then if the work in the isolation as compared to the isolation so can lead in reduction in benefits and time delay among the production unit so that is the quality after that innovation so when uh, the people are um, working collaboratively in a groups can come with the more innovative ideas for the products services and administrative uh, administration than the sum number of working in the isolation from one another next one is customer services obviously the production will be increases quality will be increases and the new innovative thing has been generated by using the collaboration at that time the customer get the satisfaction did not get the any um, complaints or the issue regarding to that product from the customer side so the any fast, more effectively than if in working in the isolation from one other so it will be gives the satisfaction of an customer service also next one is obviously all these things will be done that is customer service innovation quality of the product productivity of your product your financial uh, performance and the sales or we can say the sales growth or the you can achieve their goal by using collaborative frames so that is the these are the most important uh, business benefits of an collaboration so this is the benefits of an collaboration that is productivity quality innovation customer service and the last one is financial performance so uh, the next one is uh, uh, how this uh, will be attached to it so business benefit of an collaboration and the teamwork they have uh, in the diagrams we have defined there so whatever the co collaboration cap uh, capability uh, when uh, when in the culture is in uh, change or when the collaboration will be or open open culture will be centralized decentralized structure will be happen then breadth of collaboration will be done so obviously at that time the quality of an product will be increases and the new technology will be added that is use of collaboration technology and the implementation operation use of collaborative technology and strategic planning the quality of an your product will be increases and obviously the quality of an product will be increases automatically your performance of that uh, product or the active goal will be a, uh, achieve the goal regarding to the business so these are the benefits of an collaboration uh, in with respect to the business okay so now we will go thank you so much now we will stop here and bye